The next stitch we're working on is called Daisy Stitch. It is, um, it's a pretty simple stitch actually. You can kind of see how it, the stitches kind of come together in clumps that almost look like daisies, which is where it gets its name, obviously. Um, for this stitch, the biggest thing you need to worry about is your tension. So if you are a tight knitter, I would recommend going up one or two needle sizes. And definitely this is one that you're going to want to check your gauge on. Um, it can get very tight, which makes it hard to work the daisy stitch. So uh, this is what it looks like. And it is done in a multiple of four plus one, which means for this one, I cast on 29 stitches, which is multiple of four. It goes 28 plus one is 29. And that's to get this six inch square. Uh, for our sample piece that we're going to work on today, I've cast on 13 stitches. So you get that multiple again of four plus one. Um, and for this one, the right side is just knit and all the action happens on the wrong side rows. So you're going to want to just knit this first round or first row rather. And as I said, I'm using size nine needles. This is a worsted weight yarn. I would ordinarily use size eights, but I'm using size nines for this just to make it a little bit looser and easier to work. So this pattern actually does lie pretty flat, so you shouldn't have to add an edge, but if you're having trouble getting enough stitches to make your six inch square, you can just add a couple of garter stitch piece bits at the end and the beginning of each row. You can do a little seed stitch pattern. It's very simple to add more, more stitches if you need them. Okay, so I've knitted my first row. My next row is knit one. And then this is where you get into the daisy stitch. You're gonna purl three together one, two, three. You're going to purl those three together. Do not slip the needle, the stitches from the left off because you're going to do a yarn over and they're going to knit those three stitches again. And this is why you're supposed to do daisy stitch very loosely, just because it's a little bit fiddly to do it. So, and then you're going to knit the next stitch. And then again, you're going to do the purl three together. That's one, two, three. Do your yarn over. And then purl the same three stitches together again. So, right like that. You're gonna knit one. And you're gonna do one more daisy stitch at the end of your row. Again, it's three knit purl three together. Do a yarn over, purl three together again. And then you're gonna end with a knit one. And even just doing that one row, you can kind of see where the stitches are bunched a little bit together. Um, the next row is a knit stitch all the way across. Like I said, the all the action happens on the wrong side of this pattern. Just gonna knit these, be sure to knit them fairly loosely. And then on the second, on the fourth row, we're actually gonna be staggering where the daisy stitches are. So you end up with more of a diagonal um, row of daisy stitches. Just gonna end this knit row and then this is row four it's only a four row repeat so you're you're almost there just going to knit one purl one and 
knit one and then you're ready to do the daisy stitch again where you're going to purl three together one two three yarn over and purl three together again all through those same three stitches And then knit one, then you've got another daisy stitch, which is one, two, three. Oops. Like I said, daisy stitch can get a little fiddly. So you're going to purl those three together, yarn over, and then purl the three together again. And then you're going to end your row, knit one, purl one, knit one. And that is the four row repeat. It's not complicated, but it does give you this cool kind of daisy looking stitch. So you can kind of see. It's already kind of a little bit on the diagonal like it is on our sample. Um, you can almost see diagonal lines going up through the sample piece. So, and that's it. That's Easy Stitch.